in this video I'm gonna be showing you how you can improve your melodies uh, yeah just to prove improve like the melodies you've been putting out because you know yeah yo what's going on guys it's on a chip back with another video so today I'm gonna be showing you how like you can improve your melodies uh, within like yeah just improve your melodic melodies I guess uh, for yeah so because recently my melodies have been getting like a lot a lot better like for me at least they've improved a lot so i'm really giving back all the source that i've learned over this like couple months uh to all you loyal 10 viewers out here you know i love you guys but you know if you watched and you didn't actually subscribe or press like at least you should do it because you know uh spiders will come in your ears you don't subscribe so yeah i'm joking but anyway it definitely improves with the youtube algorithm so you should definitely like press like thank you all right so we're now in fo um thingy um fo so i'm gonna play the loop that i made and yeah also yeah i'm just gonna play it and then i'll show you how i made it let's go Alright, so that's the loop, um, the rest at the end here are just the stems, so yeah, it's cool. But yeah, yeah, so they're just the stems, that's what I usually do with the loops, usually bounce out the stems at the end, so if you want to change the arrangement, then yeah, you can do so. Um, but yeah. So, alright, so the first thing I do when I'm making a loop is, I start off with like the bass melody or like... Yeah, like the whole thing where it's centered around it. The whole, the, what the whole loop or like melody is centered around. So with this, I started off with a piano. This is just addictive keys, the basic preset, but you know, you can do this with FL keys. You can do this with any free or paid piano plugin. Um, Yeah, so this is what I do. Let me let me explain this real quick because this looks very confusing. I know when I was just starting out that I saw that I'll be like, "Whoa, no, I can't do that." But you definitely can. It's quite easy. Um, so let me explain it. So this this is irrelevant to be honest. This is just the chords, and the chords are these. Let me highlight them real quick. Um, this is the chords. So that's the chord. This is basically. The, the melody this is the chords so this is like i don't know like the foundations to the melody so we're gonna that that's it so it's d minor i think a minor a sharp me i don't know but these chords and then but for this one i inverted it so it's usually this i don't know, it's not even that chord it's this chord my bad so anyway this is meant to be like this, um, but yeah, <laughs> damn, it's getting hot, bro, I don't even know anymore, it's so hot right now, I can't even think, but anyway, so this chord right here, this is the chord, the triad, but it's meant to be G's at the bottom, you see it here, this is just a root note though, 
that I pitched down but ignore that for now so yeah it's, the chord's meant to be that but then I just pitched this up so I did this whole I don't know why I did it I think it, it just matched better with um, the chord yeah this this chord right here it matched better because if you see the G and the G matches so therefore it's gonna it's gonna merge better when you play it um yeah it's gonna it's gonna just merge better uh going from one chord to the next chord if they share one note um then it's better because that's how piano players play it as well they don't like to move the hands too much they like to just like sort of recycle notes i'm gonna put it like that i like to recycle notes from the last chord so it's easier for them to uh play it uh especially quite quickly but yeah so and also something i did to just spice it up i did this uh filler chord right here so to be honest this chord is like just there but it just adds a lot of bounce to the melody so if i play this yeah, duh, 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 duh. Duh, 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 duh. So it adds a lot of bounce to the, 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 the chords. And another thing I did was strum it quite a lot. Uh, so yeah, it just sounds it just sounds more wavy, I guess. That's the that's the only way I could put it. It just sounds just sounds cool. That's just personal preference. But yeah, after I've got the chords down, what I did was make this top melody thing right here. This is a top melody. Um, if you listen, so it basically just follows the, um, the chord progression that fills in the gaps in between. So yeah, that's all it does. All you, uh, all you gotta do for that is just use your ear, place a note, place a note, place a note, delete it if it doesn't work, and just keep doing that until you you have a melody. That's what I do. But something I did add here was the little flam note. If you don't know how to do that, you just select the note and press Alt F, and it makes a little flam. You can adjust the time and the velocity and all this. But yeah, that's my settings. If you wanted to copy that, but yeah, all right, cool. So that's that's the melody basically. But then um, towards the end, I pitched up. I added these notes right here. Um, yeah, just a bit very bit of a variation. I can't even speak, damn. But then what you do, you uh, then I pitched up these notes. So if you look on the uh, right here, boom, they're down. And you go here, they're up. So all I did was uh, select them and then press Control and up to put them up one octave. All right. So that's the piano melody basically. But then, so then I moved on to this other sound right here. I'm gonna solo it. It's this. So this, uh, I don't even know what this, what is this sound, it's a sound from Labs, um, it's called Modular Pianos Tank Piano, it's number 6. So yeah, I just added that, and all I did was here, here was copy and paste the MIDI from the piano into this, and then press OA, I think it is, for the arpeggiator, and hear my sentence. Uh, yeah, didn't really mess around with much, but... The main thing to do is actually uh, play around with the range so it can go up multiple octaves and yeah that's that's what i did and, and of course the time right here but yeah just close that out and yeah that's basically that sound but i will go over effects later i think and then i just added this other sound from labs and that's the sound and then right at the end for a little bit of variation again just to switch up a little bit more was i just pitched up the piano an octave so it's like this Ooh. but then i also left these uh the bottom bottom root notes um yeah i left 
them. So, yeah, so just it. Because I think it was too high for me, at least. I thought, it, I thought it sounded a bit too, like... Yeah, it sounded a bit too high up. So then I just brought the root notes down again. So then, yeah, so then it just sounded better, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. Um, but then for effects, so we're going to go here. Oh, first of all, this oh this is the master effects I added. So just an EQ. Um, cut out the low so it doesn't clash with the 808. And then cut out some of the mids so it doesn't clash with the vocals. That's very important if you want your beats to be easy to rap on. You don't want them to be clashing with the vocals. So just cut out straight away. So I just do that. And that's all I did for all of them. That's so why I add to all of my melodies. So, I, oh, let me think. So I added them onto. So I root them all to one. Uh, one uh, channel, and then I can just add this master EQ instead of adding it to three. I add it to one, and yeah. So and then this is the piano. This is the um, up. This is the, the the other sound. I don't know what to call it. But then, so for the piano, I added a bit of reverb on this, uh, the venue preset in Free Reverb 2, and just moved down this mix knob uh, to just below halfway. And then for the ARP, I added this EQ just to cut out some lows, cut out some more highs, uh, more lows, sorry, and then some highs, um, just to make it more ambient and, you know, just chill there and then I added this reverb again just to make it more ambient and just be in the background rather than in your face so yeah oh damn I just realized none of them had the effects on so yeah wait this what but yeah that's what it sounds like I remember I turned the effects off my bad um but yeah, oh, I know the thing, yeah, I didn't add it, I think. Um, but yeah. That sounds better. Um, because I turned it off once I bounce it out, uh, so it doesn't mess with it. But yeah. So then about the arrangement. So for arrangement, what I like to do is actually, I like to make a beat around it. Um, just so like I can get a clear picture of what the beat will look like if someone made a beat or like if I made the beat then I sort of know the for the arrangement but I guess if you're just practicing making loops then you don't have to but it definitely helps in my opinion uh, yeah so you can just yeah so you can so you can think about it as a loop rather than a full composition if you know what I mean uh, so I'll just go over the arrangement real quick. Um, this is the this is like the intro, whatever. Um, this is verse, or well, this would like that sort of pre-verse hook. I don't know, but anyway, I'm really do it like that sort of because I feel like the song it changes um, the uh, what do you call it the arrangement uh, by itself. But then, yeah, so I just do it, so I just add a layer, so then just one, two, three, and then two, one, and one, like that. Um, so basically it gets more full and then empties out again, and that's, yeah. But it also switches between the sounds, so, yeah. So this, is, this would be like the first part of the hook uh, yeah, for me, and then, yeah. Oh wait, dude, I don't even know. So yeah, this would be like the first part to hook really full and then you just empty it out for the second part so they can sort of go crazy with their melodies or like flows or whatever. And then the verses are just uh, very empty but then it builds back right up for the hook and drops back in. The, the, the bit before, the section before, there we go. Um, always add always keep one thing from the section before so here I've got the piano piano uh, so I've got this up got the up this doesn't count that's that's irrelevant that's sort of like the switch up uh, not switch up but like uh, uh, 
<coughs> the the uh, what do you call it? The, the switch up, like yeah, the bridge or like yeah. Wow, damn! I lost my train of thought so badly right there. My bad. I do apologize. But yeah, to be honest, that is it. But yeah, so now I'm gonna actually. Mm, 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 mm. But yeah, and then uh, what I usually do is bounce out the the melody uh, by doing this, pressing that little red circle down there, and pressing O R. And I turn off all the effects by pressing this little lever, and then just left with this, this. My bad, this. So that's the melody, and then what you do, I I usually like to pitch them down. So I'm gonna do this in B minor because for me, like D minor to B minor is a good change, and it it sounds quite good. So yeah, and this is the final loop. And if you guys wanted to hear that within the context of a beat, let me just show you the beat that I, uh, let me just pull it up real quick. I think it's this one. Oh, this is the loop, my bad. Yeah, so this, this is the beat that I made with it, right here. So you can see how the arrangement sort of works better in the beat. That's why I always like think about it. You should probably make a beat one because you get two pieces of content out of one, not yeah, sort of one thing. And also because, you know, it helps you keep the loop as a loop rather than your own like composition in a way. Because, yeah, you're thinking about it within the context of a beat rather than just, oh, this melody. Let me add, like, five layers. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, yeah, so, yeah, bro, yeah, damn. So that that's it, basically, I'm done. I showed you how to make the loop. I showed you within the beat. I don't know what else, to be honest. What What should I do? Let me know in the comments down below. Yeah, what you want my next video to be? If you've got any ideas, anything you want me to sort of go over or anything like that. Also, if you made it this far, comment uh, "Unwanted Gang 20." Yeah, just comment that if you made it to this far in the video to prove it to me. Also, please drop a like if you don't want to subscribe. But if you want to subscribe, like and subscribe because it really helps out with the one, the YouTube algorithm and my ego. So like you should definitely, um, yeah, oh, <laughs> I'm joking, but yeah, you should like thingy. And if you subscribe and I get like 
100 subscribers, not 100, but like I get a thousand subscribers, then I can start to give back to the community. So, yeah, you should definitely like participate in that. And if you're an OG, always commenting on my videos, I'm gonna remember you. Like, just think about that, I will remember you. So, you should definitely like, subscribe, and also follow my Instagram at Wanted Chip for exclusive content that I only post to Instagram. So, yeah, that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you found value in it because that's the most important thing. Yeah, and let me know in the comments if I can improve anything. It's on one chip. I'll catch you in the next one. Also, right, what you should do right now is like uh, go check out some of these videos that are popping up right now. Because, you know, if you stay this far, you know, you might as well. Like, yeah. Because it really helps out with the algorithm. Like, apparently, YouTube likes it if you stay on YouTube and like. So you should definitely go and check out one of these videos right here. It's kind of bad. You can just skip through it and you know, uh, just watch at least like one minute total. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know. I've waffled for like 30, 40 seconds now. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, bye.